We will move on to talk about your um, new compilation album that came out. Um, yes, Public, Public Enemy. Public Enemy, go cop that if you haven't. What was your main intended message with that album? So it was like, I don't know, when we first came to Korea, mm -hmm. when we all moved, like, I don't know, we had a lot of haters and, and mm. on, on our back. I don't know, I feel like everyone like dissing us for the cloud and shit, you know? Right. Just, we were very uncomfortable. So, I don't know, I, I felt, oh, we should put out a project mm -hmm. that's, because we're like public enemy. So, when you're formulating a project like that, what is like your creative process? Like, do you pick the beats first? Do you pick what you're going to write about? What the album is going to be? Like, what's the creative process behind that? Yeah, we just, I just get a bunch of beats from producers. Mm -hmm. I just tell my, like, shout out to Bilbo. Yes. We got we got lots of beats from him. Louis Maui. Uh, and big, uh, Louis. Shout out to Louis. Shout out to uh, Thai Beats. Big, big head, YouTube type head beats. on the beat. And yeah, shout out to other YouTube. Yeah, that's right. how it started, and then we just mm -hmm. build it up from there. Like the whole concept, mm -hmm. making more uh, characters more emphasized, mm -hmm. possible. So like everyone has their own character. Right. Kind of like a public enemy as like a like a whole movie kind of thing, rather mm -hmm. than like just like. Yo, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not too focused on the like the hate or anything or like that we're like enemies or like whatever. Right. But we just we just wanted there's a Korean movie called Public Enemy. Right. And like or like rap group in America. But it's nothing like that. It's like we just had we just wanted our kind of like a story or a, a movie or a film whatever mm -hmm. and like have a have our own story behind it. In this album and in just your music in general, there are, are like a lot of recurring themes of obviously gold chains, icy wrists, cars, you know, you, you guys are just having fun, you know what I'm saying, flexing everywhere, but at the same time, it's grounded by a real message of hustle and the fact that there is struggle before you get all this icy chains. So in track one in Snow and Nafla, you say, I put my life on the... Uh, you, I put my life on this mic, I gotta work on a winter, snow on my wrist, dazzled by the icy piece, but then you do say after, keep focus, my footsteps. So there's always that dichotomy between not just flexing, but there is actual work going on. So what is the message that you would give to those kids who actually just see you guys and think this is just easy and it just comes easy? Uh, well, that's how I thought of the rappers first of all. Like, mm -hmm. like, oh, <laughs> they have all the chains and shit. And right. In order to get those chains, mm -hmm. now since I'm in the same footsteps, right. I could see how like hard work you have to put in and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And just you gotta grind to flex. You know, so, exactly. Yeah, that's all you gotta do to the audience. You need to grind to flex. So in this album, right? I thought um, Cadillac was probably one of my favorite um, records in there. Um, I just wanted to know what all y'all um, favorite tracks were in that album. Just personal favorites. Well, for me, it's Ooh Wee because I'm on the hook mm -hmm. and I pick the beat. <laughs> right. Uh, public Enemy. Public enemy because he picked the beat, <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> 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 GTFO. I um, got I thought Blue singing in that was really dope. And if you listen to track 13, um, Kim, um, Loopy, your hook is very catchy. And then there's track 9, there's Batman. I thought there was a lot of shining moments in this album. So, do, do you guys write for your parts? Like, only your parts? Or, like, do you guys write for each other? You guys work together? Like, how does, how's the writing process? 
Right, right. But uh, after after recording, we kind of re oh, yeah. uh, re direct re it. Yeah, we. Mm -hmm. We revise, yeah. it? revise, revise it, revise yeah. it, ad give him advice, or maybe yeah. like find a different melody. Uh huh. That's uh, so the song, so throughout the whole song it flows well. Right. Or, or, yeah. Right. Who worked most actively for this album? <laughs> Young West. All right. <laughs> <That's> Young West. <laughs> <laughs> okay, were there any like funny or like standout <laughs> moments while you're making this project together? We have some thank uh, <laughs> chicken. Thank you, chicken. Chicken. Thank yeah. chicken. chicken. Spicy we chicken. We went, we went down to uh, Chuncheon. Right. Uh, and to record it. And have some thank chicken. They're known for that. He missed it though. Oh. Uh, I'm not really, uh, <laughs> That's not your special <laughs> moment? <laughs> well, I, my, my, my special moment was. The recording, the room, not not the studio, not the whole studio, but the recording room was mad cold. It right. Was cold as hell. It was like negative twenty degrees in there. Mm -hmm. So I I had like two jackets on. Right. Like everyone had two jackets yeah. on and like recorded and but it has like a big ass nice view of mm -hmm. like snowing and everything. Right. That's why our first track is called Snow. That is snow. snow. On them folks. All this bread, <laughs> all, this all this bread, but no ham. Uh, yeah, that was the that was a good moment because mm -hmm. that we went to like this did we no like this hotel that has studio right in Chuncheon. It's like mm -hmm. it's like a hotel for artists, so they could just sleep there and work right right at the same time. And we just stayed there for like four or five days and just mm -hmm. and was, well, we're gonna just. Um, question you on some criticisms you guys get so um, some of the people say that while your individual skill sets like individually you guys are just amazing but your synergy as a group doesn't really translate as well as your individual um, talents um, what do you think about that or do you think it's true if it's false like what are your general thoughts about that criticism I don't know because I, I think we have fun I, I have fun right we have fun as long as you guys have fun, you don't really care what other people think. True. Okay, next question. <laughs> so, compared to your substantial rap skills, obviously, um, apparently you know, some of the production or like say the cover artwork are not um, as good or in par, according to some of the criticisms. Is there any truth in that or do these guys just fucking haters? I mean, I mean you can't always satisfy everyone. That's Facts. What I, think. I mean, there's always going to be haters. Mm -hmm. Who you gonna hate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna hate. Fuck is haters, cause they ain't. Cause they ain't. Haters gonna hate. And ain't gonna hate. So they say Super B, Dest, Luby, and Coogie's Bakery. Is Are there any truths to it? What do you think? Do you think he, oh. um, Super B? Do you think he dissed you? Or are these just guys just trying to, you know, just, just make shit from nothing? I don't know. Well, I think they, um, they can't do shit without me. 